Hi and welcome to Reaper TV. In this short video I just want to demonstrate the reason why freezing your tracks is so important especially when you're working on a system that may be a little bit slower, a little bit older or you may be working with a project that's quite intensive, you have a lot of tracks on there with a lot of VSTs and virtual instruments and so on or you may just have one or two plugins that really are pretty intensive on your system. So let's take a look at how we do it and I'll show you the benefits of doing this. Okay, so to kick off with, I've got an instance of Perfect Drums, which is a plugin that I'm just demoing at the moment, which you're going to have a full review on very shortly on the channel. Great sounding plugin, but what I found is it's very, very memory intensive. Now, there's high quality samples being loaded in, so this is not a negative towards that plugin in particular, but it's something that highlighted a problem when you are dealing with plugins that could be quite intensive. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my task manager in, and you can see I currently have just an instance of Perfect Drums, nothing running. So if you take a look at the top, you can see that Reaper is currently using around 2.2 gigabytes of my memory. Now, I don't have a particularly slow system. I'm running a, a 6700K i7 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's only about a six month old machine. So it's a pretty good machine. It runs it fine. But the problem you've got is that's a lot of memory just to be used on one single plugin. So Let's take a look at why freezing really is so good. So if we take a look, we've seen that's using just under two gigabytes of memory. So what I do is I've just got an instance on there. You can see I've just got some basic drums. And if I hit play on there, you can take a listen. Now playing doesn't make any real difference to the amount of memory that's being used. These are just the samples that have been loaded in. And it sounds great. So let's just select all those tracks. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and I'm going to come down and say render freeze tracks. And I'm going to say freeze tracks to mono pre fader. So what this is going to do is it's going to split the component pieces of the drums out. It'll record them quickly for me, output them as WAV files. It'll take all the effects and everything offline then. So we then just have a rendered WAV or WAV format version of that particular piece of audio. So we'll hit freeze tracks. That runs through and you can see now it locks those tracks in place and it creates a couple of WAV or WAV files for me. So if I hit play again, we'll see that we get exactly the same sounds. So nothing really different, might sound slightly different because it's not being processed through the actual plugin itself, but everything I need is there. Now if I bring in my task manager, if we take a look at the top now, Reaper's down to 316 megabytes of memory. That's about eight times less memory, somewhere around there. So just by freezing those, we've reduced the memory usage down by about eight times. You may think, well, we've lost the ability to go and edit those now because we've basically rendered them out as WAV files. Well, we haven't because we can simply come back onto those tracks, right click, come down to render freeze tracks, and we'll say unfreeze tracks, restore previous items and effects. Hit that. There's our MIDI track back. There's our instance of perfect drums back on there. If I bring my task manager back in, you can see my memory usage is back up to where it was previously at around 2.2 gig, uh, sorry, 2.2 gig of memory. So that's the reason why Using freezing is great inside Reaper. It really does free up resources, allow you to use these more intensive plugins, maybe ones with big samples and so on, big libraries. You can use them, set everything up. Once you're finished, you can then just freeze those. You're non-destructive, so everything is still there should you need to come back and edit it. So that's it. That's wrapped up that video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy what we do around you on the Reaper TV channel, please consider supporting us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Even the smallest amount really does help us get more involved in this project and create more content for you. If you need comments, questions or feedback on the video, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, happy mixing.